Can I see them? I keep them in the bedroom because oh, it's warmer oh, in there. Okay. Well, Mrs. Manicotti went to the pound today to get a dog for her kids, mm. so I went along with her. I took one look at this character, and I was a goner. Did you ever see the eyes? What kind of a dog is he? Well, he's a cross between a cocker spaniel and a French poodle. Mm. It's, uh, I guess you'd call it a cocker poodle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Trixie, you better put him back in the box, because I gotta feed him now. All right. that choice horse meat horse meat uh-huh Ooh. well they must know what they're doing tricks because the dogs are nuts about it oh. <laughs> that gonna be enough for them oh sure you don't want to overfeed a puppy oh listen does ralph know about this yet oh no i haven't told him yet oh you're gonna tell him tonight no, I think I'll wait till tomorrow morning. Because, see, the man at the, uh, down at the pound told me the dog's going to need shots. Uh -huh. And Mrs. Manicotti's going to the vet's tonight to take her dog, so mm -hmm. she said she'd take him along with hers. Yeah. Well, once Ralph sees that sweet little face, he's going to love him. I hope so. Say, Trix, how come you never got a dog? On account of Ed. Oh, he loves dogs, but for the first few minutes that Ed's around a dog, he, he itches and wheezes and sneezes. Oh, it's something terrible. It's an allergy he's got to anything with fur on it. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Hey, you want me to drop the dog off at Mrs. Manicotti's for you? Oh, Trix, that would be wonderful. And tell Mrs. Manicotti that I'll stop up there later, okay? All right. Should I take the rest of the dog food along? No, I won't have to feed him till tomorrow morning when I get him back. Oh, I see. Okay. Don't drop him now, No, Trix. I won't. Oh, thank you. Bella. Bye. I'll see you later, Ralph. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> ready for you in a minute. Oh, don't go to any trouble. I'm not going to eat here. I'll eat over the lodge. I get just enough time to wash up and get over there. We got another emergency meeting. Again? Ralph, you had an emergency meeting last night. So? So? Do you realize you raccoons have more emergency meetings than the U.N.? Just so happens that the raccoons have more emergencies than the U.N. <laughs> uh... Here's the Is uh, lovable big stuff home yet? <laughs> yes, he's inside washing up. Ed, do you realize they have another emergency meeting tonight at the lodge? That's the fourth emergency meeting th in this past week. I'm beginning to think those emergency meetings are nothing but a poker game. Oh, wait a minute, Alice. Wait a minute. I'm surprised that you even think anything like that. An emergency meeting is an emergency meeting. Never a poker game. An executive meeting, not the poker game. <laughs> Will you tell your large brother for me that I'm up at Mrs. Manicotti's? I will do. Me to tell you that she's up with Mrs. Manicotti's. Mm. Well, this is delicious. Norton, if I ever ran into you when you weren't eating, I don't think I'd know you. What kills me is you eat, you eat, and you eat, and you don't even gain a pound. I guess my nature or my basic metabolism or something, I don't know. As long as I can remember, I weighed exactly what I weigh now, 165 pounds. As far back as I remember, 165. Gee, I remember when I used to weigh 165. 
Did you ever see a picture of me when I weighed 165 pounds? No, Ralph, I never did see any of your baby pictures. <laughs> Let me tell you, your wife, Alice, really outdid herself with this stuff. This is just delicious. Here. Right into that. Hey, that's great. How about that? It's got a real different taste to it. You really can. You're a lucky guy. Anything Trixie ever fixes for me is right out of the can. <laughs> If this come out of the can, that'll be different. This is terrific. Thought, oh. Ralph, you just gave me a million dollar idea. All I have to do is put this stuff in cans. <laughs> Ralph, you're sitting on a gold mine. You can make a million dollars. I don't care if I make a million dollars. This is the thing I've always wanted to do for Alice. Why should she cook just for me? And just have me enjoy it. I could put it in cans and the whole world can enjoy her cooking. I'm gonna make her rich and famous. I'll run the whole business for her. All she'll have to do is sit back and collect. Boy, oh boy, that is a worthy sentiment. I mean it. Now, all you gotta do is get a hold of Alice and get the recipe. Then we're off. Now, that's the last thing I have to do. All I have to do is tell Alice that I got a scheme to make money and she'll say it's a crazy scheme. But look, if you don't get a hold of Alice and get the recipe, how are you gonna sell this stuff? What are you gonna do? Very simple. The first thing I gotta do is get some financial backing. Now, tomorrow when I go to work, I walk right into Mr. Marshall. Mr. Marshall, the president of your bus company? Why, certainly. He's a swell guy. Last year, for instance, there was some guy named uh, Herman Fatrat. And he had some kind of an invention. It was uh, a wrench lock. Well, he took it into Marshall, showed it to Marshall. Marshall liked it, gave him some money, and now he's got a whole factory going for himself. Called Fat Rack's Factory. <laughs> not bad, not bad, Ralph. But have you got an idea on how to present this, uh, this uh, stuff here to your boss? I don't need any idea. I'll do the same thing we did. I'll let him taste it. He'll be sold on it just like we were. <laughs> now. As soon as he puts the money in my company, and Alice knows that my boss has got money in his thing, she'll be proud to give me the recipe. Ralph Cramlin, I gotta take my hat off to you. <laughs> now, let's see. We gotta get some kind of a name for this. Yeah. How about this? Cramden's Delicious... Now, wait, who? Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, you mean Cramden's Delicious... Mr. Marshall is putting up the money for this thing. You gotta get his name in there someplace. You're right about that. Uh, hey, how about this? Cramden's Delicious Marshall. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Are you a nut or something? Cramden's Delicious Marshall. What kind of stuff is Marshall? But we don't know what this stuff is. You might as well call it, Marshall. <laughs> Look, I told you I was going to give you a job, and that with you with me, you're going to have a job for a lifetime. I've said that time and time again. Now that we've got a winning solution to our problems, I'm still going to give you the job. But you're not going to be in the advertising department. <laughs> this takes a simple little thing like a combination of names. Cranmars. Yeah. Cranmar's what? <laughs> Cranmar's delicious mystery appetizer. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it. Now you got Cranmar's mystery delicious No, but delicious mystery appetizer. Cranmar's delicious mystery appetizer. That's, That's a catchy story. Oh, boy, you got it there, Ralph. That's beautiful. Let me tell you, <laughs> you've been on many adventures that's failed and flunked and everything, but this one, I think you're going to hit it. I think you're going to make a fortune. As pal of mine, you deserve it. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> a toast. Thank you. <laughs> it just goes to prove what I've always said. Every dog has his day. Thank you very much. 
morning, Mr. Marshall. Hello, Cramblin. What can I do for you? Mr. Marshall, I have a million dollars in here. <laughs> well, you must have had a mighty good day on the bus. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Well, it's like the men say, Mr. Marshall, you're a good guy. All of the fellas say the same thing. They say you're a guy that likes new ideas and a fella that you can come to and get advice, sometimes even financial assistance. <laughs> Mr. Marshall, I have here a fortune. My wife made a whole bowl of this last night. And I scooped some up to bring it over as a sample. And there it is. <laughs> what is it? An appetizer, the most delicious you've ever tasted in your life. Appetizer? Sure, an appetizer. People go nuts over appetizers. Walk into any supermarket. All along the shelves, they got jars of appetizers. But the difference is that, that this is something new and different. That's what the people go for, something new and different. This is delicious. It would go great with cocktails, or if, uh, for a snack, or on crackers, or to make small sandwiches. Even those uh, udubas. <laughs> Order. Huh? Order. They'd be good for that, too. Here, just taste this. Just taste it. No, 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 I better not, Cranston. I'm on a very strict diet. No. How can this harm you? It's homemade, pal. Here. Well, take a little bit. Just one if it's homemade. No. Hey. This is very good. What did I tell you? I, I never tasted anything like it before. Everybody that tastes it says the same thing, Mr. Marshall. This will yeah. be a riot. Yeah, well, I want to try it on someone else. Oh, Miss Evans, please tell Mr. Peck I'd like to see him in here for a moment. Mr. Tebbets, too. Brandon, this appetizer has possibilities. If it's handled right, it could be a big thing. Now, tell me, is this your wife's exclusive recipe, or could there some, be someone else involved, like, uh, like her mother? Oh, her mother, no. Her mother can't cook like my wife. Her mother-in-law is a nice lady and everything, but anything she'd cook, I wouldn't give it to a dog. <laughs> I'll have another one. Go ahead, pal. Eat it up. There's plenty of crackers. <laughs> Here you they are. You want him? Yeah. You both know Ralph Cramblin. Cramblin, Look, I wanted your opinion. Now, taste this appetizer and tell me what you think of it. What's this all about, J.M.? I'll explain later. Just tell me what you think of it. Hey, this stuff was great. It was very good. Yeah. I know I've never tasted it before. But there's something about the aroma I recognize. <laughs> hey, this is dog food. <laughs> dog food? Are you nuts or something? Why should my wife make dog food? We haven't got a dog. Look, I could be wrong. Anybody can make a mistake. Well, you certainly are wrong. I don't think I am. But if you want to make sure, I'll get Charlie. He raises dogs. <laughs> dog Charlie. Food. Boy, jealousy sometimes, I'm telling you. Well, it better not be. Yes, Mr. Peck? Charlie, do you know what that is? Should know. I've been using this for years. It's dog food. a French name would be cute for him. Well, I'll worry about a name for him after I get Ralph to agree to let me keep him. I told you you're worrying over nothing. Once Ralph gets a look at that little face, he's got to fall in love with it. Well, I hope so. You know something, Trix, I never realized what wonderful company a little pup is around the house all day. You know, this day just flew by. Sure. That reminds me, I got to be getting back upstairs. Oh, goodbye, precious. If it wasn't for my Ed's darned old allergy, I'd get one just like you. I'll see you later, Alan. Okay, Trix. Now, listen here. I want to tell you something. I have got work to do, and I have to do it right now. I don't want you getting it into your head that all I have to do all day long is just play with you. So it's back in the box. Okay? There. 
Oh, don't look so sad about it. Come on, we'll go in the bedroom. Hey, Larry. Oh, hi, Ed. Aren't you coming home a little early today from work? Oh, no, I've been uh, showing up to work an hour earlier. We're breaking in a new man there. Been oh. with us a week. He's still wet behind the ears. Ooh. <laughs> Say, uh, tell me, Alice. Has Ralph uh, tried to get in touch? Excuse me. Has Ralph tried to get in touch with you? <laughs> no, bless you. Excuse me, has he tried to get in touch with you about anything today? No. Have you got a cold, Ed? I didn't have a minute ago. Didn't have a minute ago. That's me, Here? Yes! What? This usually only happens when, I, when I'm around dogs. <laughs> You got a dog? Uh, yes, I have, Ed. Maybe you better go. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm all right. It's just a... Uh, whose dog is it? It's mine. I got it at the pound. But please don't say anything to Ralph about it before I do. He doesn't think we should have a dog in the apartment. Oh, no, no, no. I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I like the look of the dog, if you don't mind. Well, do you think you should, Ed? Oh, I'm... I'm all right. It's just... <laughs> just after the initial attack is, uh, is over, then I'm all right. I want to look at the pooch. Poochie boy. Oh, what a beautiful dog this is. Hey, hey. <laughs> he looks like one of those make-believe toys, you know, like you wind up. Uh -huh. He's beautiful. I hope Ralph will like him as much as you do, Ed. Oh, oh boy, I'm telling you, when Ralph sees this little fella, he'll go out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Put him back in the box, because i got to feed him now. Supper in bed, huh? Boy, they talk about a dog's life. <laughs> There it is, the voice of doom. <laughs> what is it, Trix? Come on up. Your mother's on the phone. Oh, I'll be right up. Thanks. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. I'll take care of the pooch. I'll feed him. What do I do? Oh, you just take two spoonfuls of this dog food and put it on that plate and just give it to him. Got you. Thank you. Here it comes, Poochie. Here's your din din. That smells mighty familiar. Grandma's <laughs> delicious mystery appetite. Upstairs on the phone. Upstairs on the phone, huh? Today was the most humiliating day I've ever spent in my whole life. Really? How would you feel if you gave your boss dog food to eat? Terrible, <laughs> unless my boss is a cocker spaniel. Dog food? It's a miracle I wasn't fired. I know who did it, too. Alice's mother. She come over here to cook me a tidbit. That's what she did. She don't care what Alice gives me to eat. Just as long as Alice can scrimp and save and live around here in a lot of luxury. <laughs> those ain't the facts, Ralph. Those ain't the facts. They're not the facts, huh? Then why would we have dog food around the house and in our ice box? What if we got a dog or something? Ralph Trevin, you have just reached the first plateau. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything. I'm not saying anything. Just put your nose in that bedroom there. Just go in the bedroom, that's all. <laughs> Well, that animal is getting out of here immediately. Wait, 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 don't. Don't tell me to wait. Alice knows she can't have a dog, and she knows why she can't have a dog. Who's gonna take him out, huh? Me. Me, that's who. And when do dogs have to get taken out? Five minutes before I have to go to bed. That is around midnight. And if you think that I'm gonna walk up and down the street in the snow and the streets of rain, walking some muck back and forth, you're nuts. <laughs> Alice is taking that dog back. Right back to the pound. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. She ain't taking it back. It didn't cost her anything or anything. She's in love with that puppy. If you make her take it back to the pound, it'll, it'll break her heart and it'll cause a big fight, too. You're absolutely right. It will cause a fight. So therefore, I'm not gonna have her take it back. I'll take it back. <laughs> 
you go. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just wait a minute. Wait, dog, wait. wait. Get out of my way. Just, 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 just give a good look at the dog. Will you just give I one look? I don't want to look a good look or a bad look. I'm taking him back to the pond. Now get out of my way. Come on, just, just give him a look, will you? You know what? I know why you're afraid to give him a look. You're afraid that if you look into these brown, soulful, trusting eyes, that it'll do something to your heart. Just look. <laughs> look into those eyes, Mark. Look, look. Put him back in a box, Norton. <laughs> look. Put him back in the box or I'm gonna do something to you. Get out of the way. Open that door. Open the door. Stop, Crandon. You have just lost your membership card to the human race. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Yes, sir? I'd like to return a dog that my wife got here yesterday. Well, let me see now. Well, it's a good dog. You, uh... So your wife picked him up here yesterday? Yeah. What's your name? Cramden. K-R-A-M-D-E-M. I'll have to check the record first. Okay. You, uh... You sure you want to get rid of this pup, huh? Well, we have a small apartment. Okay. against you. Honest, if I was gonna have a dog, I'd have a dog look just like you. It's just that, well, an apartment's no place to keep a dog, you know, and they're expensive and everything. Besides, somebody will come in and pick you up. Maybe somebody with a big backyard or something. Might even live in the country. <laughs> Boy, you got some kisser. <laughs> Honest, you'll see. This is probably the luckiest break you ever got that I didn't take you with me. Honest. All right, here. Just sign this and I'll take the dog. Everything's in order. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Up you go, boy. Something I can do for you, mister? No, no. <clears throat> Say, uh, tell me something. I just brought a dog back here. Uh, will somebody pick him up and give him a good home? I hope so. What do you mean, you hope so? Well, a lot of people come here for dogs, but there ain't always enough people to take all the dogs we got here. We're only allowed to keep dogs here five days. We got a couple here now. They've been, been uh, over the limit. Over the limit? Yeah. Well, what happens to them then when they're over the limit? Got to be destroyed. Hey, wait a minute. You mean that dog I just brought in here, my dog is going to be destroyed? Right. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hey, come back. <laughs> Who do I see about getting a dog back? A uh, lost dog? No, no, a puppy that I got here yesterday, and my husband brought him back today, and I want to get him right now. Well, you'll have to wait till Mr. McGregor gets out here. He'll be out in just a moment. Right. Alice. What are you doing with my puppy and these other dogs? Look, I hope you're not going to get mad, but I fell in love with him. And these other two are over their limit. <laughs> Come on, I'll tell you all about it at home. Come on, Alice. <laughs> I can see these little ones. Did you see the new ones? Let's take a look at <laughs> 